Okay, Frankie, you're working out. We're doing the eating. The Canada Food Guide is being overhauled. And like more and more Canadians, it's expected to favor plant-based diets. This is great news. To make sure your vegan dining is as delicious as possible, the beautiful Lauren Toyota is back. She's out with her very first cookbook. And thank you for choosing BT to premiere it. It is out yeah. today. It's called Vegan Comfort Classics. 101 recipes to feed your face. I love that title. 101 recipes 101. to feed your face. Thank you. All good. Okay, what is your <laughs> philosophy? Because there's a lot of vegan thinkers, diets, and cook or there's lifestyle. There's lots of variety cookbooks. of ways to do vegan, I think, right? And I just think I'm trying to get people who are really skeptical about it on board by making comfort food that they that looks familiar, tastes the same. There really is no compromise. It's yeah. really flavorful. We're not cutting out fat we're just replacing it with good plant-based fats tons you know? of flavor and still using things like sugar and flour and like kind of just like regular foods you know and not having to make huge huge changes just okay. just substitutes so for example you're making eggs benny yes tofu benny with vegan hollandaise sauce so we've got these like tofu medallions i call them okay. so you can use a medium or a firm tofu and you just want to lightly season these with salt pepper some paprika to get some nice color on mm. them and so you can do this very quickly and then get them in a nice hot pan like this. So what did you put as the oil on the base, Lauren? Just some vegetable oil. You can use sunflower oil, canola oil, olive oil. And then you just want to sear all sides of this tofu like that till it gets nice and golden brown. How long does it take each side? Like three minutes, another three minutes. The pan gets hotter as you go. Yeah. Just to coat Eight it. Eight minutes or so. Yeah. Just to coat it, get it nice and crispy like that. Okay. So those can just sit there for one second. In the same pan, you could just take that out and then do some spinach, tomato slices, mm. get everything nice and cooked and juicy. I mean, you don't want to really put raw spinach like on an no. eggs benny. It's supposed to be warm, right? Wilted and warm. And wilted and warm. How did you make it? Okay, the so this sauce? is the vegan hollandaise sauce, which hollandaise is like just pure butter. We know it's terrible for you. <laughs> this is actually good for you. The base of it is almonds. Okay. So I'm going to put you to work. So Please all do. these ingredients make our vegan hollandaise. Sliced blanched almonds. Okay. Those go in. Those are nice and thin, easy to blend up. Recipe Almond on the website milk. or in your book? Yep. Uh, it, both. On the website oh. and in the cookbook. Almond milk? Almond milk. Your favorite nutritional yeast. I got you, Dina eating nutritional yeast. You got my <laughs> husband and myself all on the nutritional yeast train. There's protein, there's B12. Everyone there's iron. needs to have nutritional yeast in their pantry, regardless of whether they're vegan or not. It's cheesy and delicious. So we need some acidity, right? There's usually white wine or lemon juice. So we're gonna add lemon juice. Nice. We're gonna add white wine vinegar okay. as well as vegetable oil. So this is like commonly found ingredients in your grocery store. It's nothing too yep, fancy dancy. Nothing. Uh, salt and pepper. Yep. And salt then, and peppers here. Exactly. For uh, color, uh, ground mustard, also flavor, and turmeric. Okay. Turmeric's also really good she for left you. Me hanging. Story of my life. Now, Come on, Lord, you gotta be pepper. You gotta be oh, the pepper of my salt. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm really I'm not I'm like She's multitasking. So okay, so crank it. <laughs> crank it. Let's go. Look at that. Oh wow. So you blend this up really nice and smooth, let it go for a little bit. Okay. Now you can have that in the fridge ready and to go and then just heat it up before serving. And now for the bread, you said there's so many options, right? For the yeah. muffin? Look, we just, I wanted to keep it real classic, so we used a white English muffin, but you could use a multi-grain English muffin, yeah. whatever you want to do. It's not homemade, it's from the store. Bread is mostly all vegan friendly. So now we're going to plate this. I would do some spinach on here. So good. Now with 45 seconds left. Oh gosh, okay. Jackfruit is the new meat substitute and no one's the wiser. So that's what it looks Look like. Look at that, you it looks like pulled it. pork. So this is... But it's full of fiber, no fat. Okay. I put barbecue sauce on it, pickled onions, slaw, and then I've got a blueberry cheesecake there. Looks so decadent. Um, which tastes pretty much exactly like the original. You wouldn't know the difference. I feed it to non-vegans all the time. And we've got bacon mac and cheese with shiitake bacon. And quickly, ready for the hollandaise on the tofu, Benny Dina? Oh my gosh. Oh. <gasps> That looks so there, good. Breakfast. For more BT. information, everybody, Ooh. as you said, it is your brand new vegan cookbook. It's called Vegan Comfort Classics 101 Recipes to Feed Your Face. Breakfasttelevision.ca Thank for a you. link to purchase. It all looks fantastic. Thank you. Thank you so much. We'll yeah, be back. Just hands, no with fork, more BT no knife. <laughs> right after this. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, over my face. <laughs> so good. All over my face.